How are you doing today? I'm having a very fine day as I will be sharing the unboxing experience of Mr. John Wick with you guys. The freaking Baba Yaga. For an entry level price point figure, this set comes with tons of goodies. Guns. Lots of guns. Well, maybe due to the recent success of the movie John Wick Chapter 3, the market price of this figure doubled upon initial release. Quite crazy. Let's see what we are getting with this set. This unit is packaged in a shiny, glossy, blue sleeve with beautiful artwork. I simply love the design and it is quite mesmerizing. I'm quite pleased with the sculpt of Keanu Reeves, although I would prefer a more battle damage look. Also, I have to play with the lighting a little bit to highlight his facial feature. For a mass produced head sculpt, I think it's pretty good. There has also been multiple versions of Keanu sculpts released on the market. Which do you prefer? This time he is sporting his three-piece suit as seen in the catacomb scene. I think the suit looks really nice. From the tailoring, from the design and the cutting. They use nice fabric like in real suits. Make all the actual pockets. However, the instruction manual stated the jacket is not removable, so be aware. The buttons on the vest are also for show only, as they are attached by magnets. The shirt is actually bluish instead of black. You can also see that Mr. Wick is taller than your average body, thus make him look thinner. And the suit was tailored for his specific feet. For there are so many guns, I have to refer to IMF DB page just to name them. Feel free to check it out. Please note all accessories were made out of plastic in this set. First, we take a look at the Benelli Super 90, and I actually know this gun from playing Division. Very nice details. Look, the extra cartridge mounted on the side is for decoration only and is not removable. Don't try to remove it. So basically, no moving parts, but a very nice painted piece. Then we have an assault rifle, the DTI TR1 Ultralight custom fitted. Again, very amazing details and paint work and weathering. And 
This time, you can actually open the cover to expose the chamber. You can see the bullet inside. Once you slide back, it disappear. Quite amazing. The stock is also collapsible. It also comes with two magazine clips that can be connected together. I'll do it later. Then we have another shotgun, the Caltech KSG. Although I'm not too familiar with it, but it looks very cool. Again, no moving parts, but a nicely sculpted weather painted piece. Actually, VTS Toys also released the same shotgun with this Dark Song Agent set. That one is nice too. Although both look comparable, the weathering and pink details on the Hot Toys look way, way better. You have to trust me on that one. For the handguns, first we have the Kimber Warrior he got from the Bari King, with magazine clips holding 7 rounds of bullets in a lovely case painted to look like a wooden box. You can also close the case and lock it if you want. Be careful, it is very fragile. Quite amazing details. So you can attach the magazine in there. All the handguns are sliding, uh, sliding docks and then the removable magazines, just in case. Right there. Okay. See, I'm too clumsy. Then we have the Clock 34. I'm not familiar with that. Very nice painted with the lettering and details. Also removable magazines. Then we have the smaller Clock 26, the same attention to details. My hands is just way too big for this. Plus, we have the HNK P30L. I think this one is probably John Wick's preferred sidearm, as I think he also used it in the first movie. Very stylish piece. Amazing. On to Pops. We have the blood marker, miniaturized from the movie. Painted weather, very nice piece. There's another opened blood marker, where you can see the bloody fingerprint inside. Just crazy amazing details. Then we have the gold coins, the only currency in the John Wick universe. If you take a cab, you go to a hotel, you have a go to a restaurant, you need that. So
Very nice details with that. For the hand shapes, we have eight pieces. The pistol holding, the rifle cradling, another pair to hold the pencil or knife, then your standard relaxed palms, a fist, and an open hand. You also have your standard Hot Toys hexagon base stand with the character name and graphic printed on top. Nothing special. I almost forgot to show you the pencil he used to kill three persons. A trivial piece. Plus, the standard knife. The articulation was pretty good. And he has the standard true type body. And the suit is not too restrictive. Let me try to recreate one of his gun holding posts. First, we spot the right hand shape to hold the pistol, and then the left hand to cradle it. Then, you work his right shoulder to bring up his arm, and then slide his left arm underneath. This is where the tricky part begins, for his jacket was padded like real suit jacket, in the chest and shoulder area. It does create restrictions, so I have to move slowly, inch by inch, to work the joints to get the desired result. What do you guys think? As you can probably tell, I'm a huge, huge John Wick fan. If not, well, you can probably see the two boxes sitting on the table, as I might customize one with rooted hair and battle scars later on. Again, this set comes with guns. Lots of guns. A very nice tailor suit, plenty of props from the movie, and to me, one of the better John Wick hats got on the mass market. Maybe I'm biased, but I really can't find any fault with this set. Well, if I really, really have to pick on something, I would risk the jacket padding was not so restrictive. There you got it. Hope you guys enjoy this as much as I do. Have a quick day until the next unboxing. Cheers.